So this is question seven from the uh, the maths genie questions I've suggested opposite. So what we've got is um, a curve with this equation. Uh, so we can see this is a quadratic. And we're saying that P is a constant such that it doesn't intersect with this straight line. So this is a linear equation in Y, um, in X rather. So Y is a function of X that's a linear equation. So what we can do, first of all, is look at if we were looking for the point of intersection, then we'd equate these two things together. So we'd say, well, PX squared minus 4PX minus 5P. We would equate that to 2X minus 12. And then this would be a quadratic equation to solve. Um, for which we would try and find the value of x if we knew what p was. So what we're going to do is just do what we usually do with quadratics, which is equate it to zero. So I'm going to take everything over to the left-hand side of this. So we've got px minus the 4px. Take away the 2x as well. And then we've got minus 5p, which was already there. And we're going to be adding 12 when it goes on to the other side. So there we go. And that's equal to zero. I'm just going to combine some of the coefficients here. So we've got px squared. And then if we look at the coefficient for the x, it's actually minus 4p plus 2. So what I've done there is I've just factorised this x part of it. And then finally, we've got this minus 5p plus 12. So if we look at, um, for there to be a solution of this, we know that if we looked at the discriminant, then the discriminant is the bit under the square root in the quadratic uh, formula. So that's b squared minus 4ac. And actually, if there was, if that was less than zero, then there would be no solutions. So we'd have no real values of x, which would make this, this true. So what we're going to do is look at the discriminant for this as it's written. So we can say, well, b is minus 4p plus 2 and uh, c is minus 5p plus 12. So I'm being very careful with the, the signs on this. And so uh, a also is equal to p. So what we're going to do is try and substitute them into this formula for the discriminant. So we've got uh, the b squared, so we've got minus 4p plus 2, and that's all going to be squared. And then we've got minus 4 times the a, so p, and then times by the c, which is minus 5p plus 12. So I'm going to multiply all this out. So we know that if this is negative, we know that if we square it, we can get rid of the minus there. So I'm going to end up with, um, I'm going to end up with 16p squared plus, that's going to work out as being 16p plus 4, if I square that bit. This bit, if I multiply it out, I'm going to end up with, um, let's see, I'm going to end up with 20p squared. And that's going to be plus. And then I've got my, because I've got minus times minus there, and I've got 4p times 12. So that's going to be minus, um, Minus twenty, uh, minus forty-eight p. Okay, so we're just going to tidy all that up. 
So we've got 36 P squared. And then we've got uh, minus 32 P plus the four. And, we, and this must be less than zero if there's no solutions. So it says it doesn't intersect. So in fact, we can't have a solution to this. There'll be no values of X for the value of P that we're gonna find. So for this discriminant, if it's less than zero. Um, so I'm just gonna divide through by four here. So I'll get nine P squared minus eight P. So as required, plus one and that's less than zero. If we then try and find the roots of this um, 9p squared minus 8p plus 1, so we find when, what, when would it actually equal this, equal zero, That would be when the roots are. And if we put that into the calculator, we get um, two solutions. So we get P is four plus root seven over nine. And also P is four minus root seven over nine. So um, we could write those as decimals. So 0.7. 3.8 and also the other one 0.15 so these are the two values of, of p so if we were to sketch this curve uh, this function of p then what we would get would be that it would cross at these two points so we get that it cross at 0.15 and also cross at 0 0.738, and it would look like um, the standard quadratic graph, it would look like that. And we're interested in the bit where it's less than zero, so we're interested in the bit in this range, between 0 0.15 and 0 0.738, because that goes below the x-axis there. So the values of p for which this is true, this inequality is true, are uh, that P is greater than 0 0.15 and that P is less than 0 0.738. And we have to be careful that since that's not got the equals to bit on it, it's just less than, then we don't have the equals on either of them. It's just the less than and greater than.